this is kind of some hard video to make but I've wanted to make it for a little while now and I've been pretty quiet after the election and I want to talk about the election and my feelings about what I said about that a little bit too but I'll probably save that for the end of this video in this video I kind of want to talk about regret and retrospection which I'll get to closer to the end but yeah I've been having a hard time these days I've been having a hard time basically most of my adult and teenage life I guess but and I, I should put this disclaimer in right now we might get into some dark shit in this video and maybe in this channel if I go into greater detail, make it more vloggy. I don't know how vloggy this channel actually should be. Originally, I wanted to do some pretty intense lifestyle vlogging. I'm starting to feel like that was kind of a misguided thought. Maybe thinking that way too late, but yeah. But if things are going to get personal on this channel and mental healthy type content and like not professional in any sort of way i am in no way a professional i'm someone who's struggling with this shit and thinking about bringing my youtube audience along for the ride but no we could go through some pretty dark stuff in this these kind of videos and i just want y'all to be aware of it but at the same time, I also want you to know that I would never commit suicide. I like health. I'm kind of into health because I'd like to retain my independence into old age. Be hitting 100 would be kind of cool. But, yeah. If it ever comes to be a time where you're looking back on these videos and I'm dead and the official story is suicide, I was suicided. That is not how I would go out. I would not kill myself. Someone's making it look that way. I was the subject of some pretty intense and ruthless bullying in elementary school and middle school. And especially in middle school, going into high school, I came from the people in my age group who were like some of my closest peers. That shit was kind of harsh. And, yeah, there was some sexual stuff that I may go into in some other future videos, but I don't really want to get into now. And I, I've just overall gone from, like, feeling pretty inadequate as a child to, like, full-on struggling with I'm not totally as functional as I'd like to be and I feel like a lot of the people in my life think that I'm lazy or something I take on a lot of volunteer commitments but between my mental health struggles and spreading myself so thin with doing and so much and wanting to do so much more than I actually get done. It's just some shit. And it results in me kind of regretting not being better at a lot of the things that I'd like to be better at. But it comes mostly from overextending myself and not being able to figure out what to focus on, basically. At least that's kind of where I'm at right now, I think. Never really got help with any of the things that I struggle with. I've never trusted the system enough to do it until recently. Now I trust that I can discern whether someone's got my best interests at heart or whether they're just a cog in the machine or whatever. But it's just hard. I volunteer with a whole bunch of different organizations and for some events that happen yearly and different things including two volunteer fire departments and 
while my expenses are low, because I've always lived at home, never moved out, I'm 27, and that's not going to last forever. And I don't want it to. I'm pretty ashamed of that. And while I feel like there's a volunteer shortage in basically almost everything that I do, and a lot of the groups that I do volunteer with, the average age is probably double what mine is. At the same time, I haven't figured out for myself a way to sustain myself financially or, like, you know, just kind of figuring out what fills that hole, you know? I've had a lot of jobs. I, I've liked some of them, but especially at the time, none of them felt like something that I would do for much longer than how long I did them. I've never had a job longer than six months. I've never stayed with a relationship, like a romantic relationship for more than six months. It's, yeah, it is what it is. I've been where I've been. It's just about time I find a way to do better for myself moving forward, you know? I'd like to do volunteer work and stuff like the YouTube channel and both being able to be present at a lot of these events and helping to help you see the goings on at a lot of the events that I cover on YouTube. But that's also a, another thing that I've done without being paid at all. And I don't... Years and years ago, probably about a decade ago, on a past YouTube channel, my last video was about boycotting YouTube and Google, basically, and not wanting Google and YouTube money. So, like, I've, I'm still here. Like, they're the tech giant. I don't need to go into why it's hard to distance yourself from them. We all know that shit. But at the same time, I've never been eager to get monetized on YouTube and have ads on my videos and to get money that way. I'm from the YouTube that was like 2007 and earlier, like, I don't even know what years it would have been, but that was before Patreon was a thing, and people were actually really ashamed to be like, hey, do you want to send me money for making content? Like, I remember one of the content creators that I watched, I still watch him actually, but he posted that he was going through some shit, he didn't have the money for it, but he's a photographer and he needed to buy a camera. And he wasn't so much asking for handouts as he was saying, I want to be doing this work, I don't have the equipment, and if you want to keep seeing my work, do you feel like throwing a dollar or two my way kind of thing? And he thought kind of harshly for him about himself over that the general consensus of the internet was what are you doing e-begging and now it's basically become the norm for people to have their patreon link and stuff in their videos and to have sponsors for their videos and to monetization from youtube when it came in became the norm and not the exception is what i'm saying it, it's a Weird world to grow up in these days. I could talk about more. I could talk about how I currently do have a job, but it's not at all in line with my values. It's a job for a job, and it's not a good situation for me overall. And I, I could talk about other things. I could keep going on, but there's an event that I want to go to tonight and video that I want to... There's another video I want to be making. So I'm going to cut this one short. Thanks for watching. If you've felt similarly at all at any point in your life, feel free to leave your feedback. Let me know what your thoughts on this vomit of feelings onto my YouTube channel is. Whether this is something you'd like to see more of. Whether it's not at all what you came for. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
I also just finished this book a couple days ago. I'm not sure if you'll want me to go into like an in-depth review, but I enjoyed the book. It's a pretty easy read, I would imagine, for almost... I don't know when you would start reading. It's not a hard book to read. If you think you might like this kind of thing, pick it up. It does touch on suicide. Maybe you should have a little bit of a trigger warning, but yeah. Also, I've got some feelings about some of the videos I made around the elections. I want to go into that a little more, but I'll make that into its separate video. And yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. I hope we can keep growing together and stay tuned for the video that I've got coming out maybe even shortly after this one does, if not in the next couple days.